everyone welcome back to cracksoid today i am excited to share with you the latest official version of pixel os which was just released on february 15 2023 as some of you may know i recently did a review of its previous build which was from january 22 2023 but with this latest release are there any new features improvements and customizations to explore We'll find out what's new in this version of Pixel OS as I'll also compare it with the previous build. So whether you are diehard Pixel OS fan or just curious to see what this popular operating system has to offer, sit back, relax and let's dive into the latest and greatest from Pixel OS. So as you can see, this is Pixel OS which is based on latest Android 13 which has the Android security update of February 5, 2023 and at last you can see build number and date which is of 2023 February 15. So in its previous build, it has MIUI camera pre-installed. Now the question is, does this latest build still come with the same camera app? Let's find out. As you can see, Pixel OS latest build still has the MIUI camera available as the system camera, which is great news for those who prefer this camera app. It's good to see that this feature has been retained in the new build and this camera is functioning flawlessly. Also in the Pixel OS, you can install and use latest Google camera in it for excellent photos and videos experience. So let's talk about wallpapers and styles. In its wallpapers and styles section, if you were hoping for some exciting new features, then you might be disappointed. In fact, the latest release does not offer much in the way of new features at all. While you will find all of the same options for wallpaper color, basic colors with additional features like dark theme, theme icons and app grid. And this app grid has only up to 5 into 5 sized grid. Widgets In its widget section you will find all of the great widgets that Android 13 provides so you will be able to customize your device with all of the same great options as before. And all of the same widgets that were available in the previous build are still here and there haven't been any new ones added. Launcher If you are a fan of the latest Pixel Launcher then you will be happy to know that it comes pre-installed in Pixel OS latest build. This launcher comes with features like split screen and freeform modes that are now accessible directly from the recent app section but a kill app feature is still missing in it. Quick settings. If you are someone who likes to customize their device's quick settings, then you will be pleased with what Pixel OS latest build has to offer. One standout feature is the separate auto brightness style, which is a rare find in many rooms. In addition, you will find a variety of other useful tiles such as extra dim, scan QR code, nearby share and many more while it may not offer the same level of customization as others but comes with a selective important and daily use features in its quick settings play protect certification if you are concerned about the security of your device then you will be happy to know that pixel os latest build is play protect certified this means the device has passed important security checks and is considered to be safe and secure. This is good news for those who care about their device's security. When you use the Google Play Store on the device, you can trust that it is certified and safe to download apps. So now let's take a look at what new features and changes are available in the settings sections. This is where you can customize and fine tune your device to your liking. So it's important to know what's new and what's been updated. Network and Internet. In the network and internet settings, Pixel OS has included a new feature which is network traffic indicator option. This option will allow you to display the network traffic on your device status bar or quick setting. In addition, the show data uses option is present which displays the data uses in quick setting footer section. As for other features, the latest build offers the usual options like private DNS and adaptive connectivity which were present in previous build too. And this private DNS does not come with any custom DNS options that many custom ROMs provides. Apps In the app setting, you will find familiar features such as default apps, screen time, app battery uses and many more. However, one thing to note is that the latest build does not come with the game space feature. 
but the absence of game space does not take away the overall functionality of the device battery now let's turn our attention to the battery settings as you would expect you will find familiar options like battery uses battery saver adaptive preferences turn on light when charging and battery percentage also if you look inside its battery saver you will find extreme battery saver option which will help to extend your device's battery life display now let's check the display settings and see if the problem with enabling dark theme in the last build has been fixed or not and there's a good news they have listened to feedback and fixed it you can now enable dark theme without any issues in this latest build of pixel OS. In its display setting, there are also other options like adaptive preferences, screen timeout, prevent accidental wake up and many more. Also in dark theme, you'll find a custom theme option called black background. Security. In the security setting, you can enable both face and fingerprint unlock for added security. And in encryption, you can see phone is encrypted. Privacy. In the privacy setting, you will find a range of useful features such as the privacy dashboard, permission manager, and options for managing camera and microphone access. These features are designed to help you protect your privacy and give you more control over the data that apps can access on your device. Also in privacy setting, you will get ignore window secure flags option, which will remove screenshots and screen record limits for all apps. This can be convenient in some cases but may lead to privacy leaks. Gesture settings In addition to the previous features, this ROM comes with some cool gesture features such as quickly tap actions, quickly open camera, system navigation, one-handed mode, and many more. Additionally, it has an advanced restart feature accessible via a press and hold power button option. Also, one of the favorite features, the swipe to take screenshot option is also included in this build, but there's no option for lens search after taking screenshot. System navigation. In system navigation, you'll get two button, three button and gesture navigation feature. And in button navigation setting, only hold for assistant is present. And in gesture setting, you will find swipe off from a bottom corner to enable assistant and hide navigation bar option, which they have named immersive navigation is present Xiaomi parts for Xiaomi phones pixel OS offers Xiaomi parts features which include same features like from its previous build like MI sound enhancer clear speaker and many more and if you search for system update you won't find that one you will need to update to latest version by flashing from custom recovery mode and there you have it, the latest Pixel OS build with February 2023 security update. While there may not be lots of new features compared to the previous build, this ROM is incredibly stable and reliable. And if you are curious about the battery backup, be sure to check out my video where I compared this Pixel OS to other top ROMs like Pixel Experience Plus and Arrow OS in terms of both battery and performance. You can find that video in the description section below. Below. but what do you think of this pixel os let me know your thoughts experience and suggestions in comment section below and if you find this video useful don't forget to like share and also please subscribe to cracksway youtube channel and hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye